About a month ago, I asked Raptors head coach Darko Ryakovich about what specific skill he's looking for Grady Dick to maximize moving forward. His answer surprised me. I think that Grady has a very good feel to pass the ball. I think that's a very underrated skill that a lot of times is easily overlooked because of all the other things he does. It just intrigued me from the start, thinking of what kind of player he could be and how to maximize his potential. Naturally, coaches see things materializing in players well before the general public does. So now, in hindsight, after watching Grady leap forward as a three-level weapon for the Raptors, it all makes sense. He's refining his touch around the basket, attacking closeouts with tenacity, operating in the mid-range at a high level, and capably shooting the three-point shot. It only seems natural that with all the added attention, the next step is to elevate his game as a passer. Before we dive into the video, please subscribe, like, and do all the things you guys usually do to make sure this video goes out to people who might be interested in watching it as well. Now back to Grady. After enjoying a month during which Grady broke his career high in points on four different occasions, the scout is out. The old adage is that he's moved up on the scouting report, and that's been the case over the last week or so. Teams are throwing their best off-ball defenders on him, they now know Grady's tendencies, his spots, and what the Raptors like to run for him, specifically their Spain leak action and their staggered pin down grenade play on baseline out of bounds, which we've already broken down on this channel. The Celtics particularly did a really good job of game planning for Grady. Watch Jalen Brown anticipate this pass, with Derek White trailing behind, ready for the contest, that's understanding the assignment. Teams have consistently tried to run Grady off of the three-point line. This isn't anything new, it's why he's been so potent, shooting 55% on drives, but as driving lanes fill up, he'll have to continue developing his feel as a passer. You can only do so much yourself, and after diminishing returns for individual scoring kicks in, it's time for the ball handler to kick out. That passing development has come in a few different forms over the last year or so, and as Grady has seen the added attention, we've already seen him stretch his legs in that department. First, it's the driving kick. Next, the pump and dump. Because of Grady's shooting ability, teams are often willing to switch off-ball actions, especially pin downs, which usually give the screen setter a mismatch in the post. He's already developing a knack for creating an easier passing window by using the pump fake in these situations. Grady is also a talented connector and transition passer. We've already seen him connect with his teammates multiple times in the fast break this season on highlight plays. The above mentioned plays have been a part of Grady's repertoire since his rookie season, but you need to develop your own ability to threaten the rim before those passing lanes open up. His added scoring prowess has only helped weaponize his vision, but the real development, at least recently, has been with more progressive reads. Grady's assist numbers aren't eye-popping by any means, a measly 2.4 assists per game and just fewer than 2 turnovers a night. He only passes on 25% of his drives. He's had just 29 possessions as a pick and roll ball handler according to Second Spectrum. Still, in those little opportunities, Grady is starting to shake out what he's been working on in practice. These progressive reads are a bit more intuitive, and they're baked into the Raptors' offense. The most prevalent example of this is on handoffs in the Raptors' delay action sets, with one of Toronto's bigs, typically Jakob Pertl, serving as the hub. Grady will start in the corner, work through a pin down screen, receive the handoff above the break, and have to make a decision. If teams go under, that's a loss for them, he's shooting that and likely making it. If teams go over and chase, he and Jakob can flow into a pick and roll and he's progressively making this pass. There is a third option. If the defense outright switches the action, a Raptor in the corner can make a backdoor cut and Grady has also shown a knack for making that pass this season. This is likely a scripted cut, but watch Grady curl his driving angle to create a wider passing window. He sees the play multiple beats in advance. There's more. Other actions involving Grady as the primary creator occur on the second side or weak side, and they're predicated on Grady weaponizing his shooting ability to draw two players to the ball and make plays from there. It's often on the empty side, so he doesn't have to deal with the help defender digging from the corner, easing him into things. The key thing to note here is how much attention he receives as he comes off of screens. Teams are scared of the pull-up jumper or of him getting downhill, so they'll likely put two on the ball 
or hedge and recover. And Ryakovich is already using this in nifty ways on the second side. It resulted in one of the biggest highlight plays for the Raptors this season. Against the Bucks, the Raptors ran a twirl action with Grady, Jonathan Mobo, and Bruno Fernando, who used the extra attention Grady saw to slip and put Giannis Antetokounmpo on a poster. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Grady is still a work in progress as a playmaker, and we're talking about some of the best moments in an already small sample size of sets. And with the injuries the Raptors have dealt with, primarily to their lead initiators, Scotty Barnes and Emmanuel Quickly, he's had to step up and make some primary reads. It's been a mixed bag. There is the bad, like this turnover. The good, this play against the Lakers in which he rejects the screen and makes a sweet bounce pass to Pirtle for the finish, but it'll be important for him to keep his dribble alive in situations like this, which is the next step in his progression. Ultimately, he's only scratched the surface in this department. The Raptors missing players over the last month of basketball has only served as a particle accelerator, furthering Grady's development quicker than expected. And Grady has already progressed so much, all before his 21st birthday, happy birthday by the way, he turned himself into one of the more lethal off-ball weapons in the league. He's expanding his range as a shooter, and the finishing at the basket has been a pleasant surprise. His mid-range jumper has been a joy to watch develop, but... Defenses are expecting that now. They're game planning for it, and he'll have to make them pay by making the pass. That's the next step. Rayakovich said as much a month ago. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, you can go ahead and subscribe to our channel for more videos like it, and make sure you like and comment as well so that other people who liked it can go ahead and watch it as well. Take care. Bye.